Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Crapman, and what we're going to do this time through is we're going to actually make a cityscape. Um, I know the first one probably disappointed a lot of people. Uh, we're uh, going to go ahead and do it right this time. Um, first of all, let's go ahead and jump into our vertex modeler, and we're going to click on the grid um, object, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and click it down in here. Uh, Definitions eight by eight. Let's do, or let's do uh, sixteen. Push enter, and it automatically goes to sixteen squares. Okay. Now let's go to the top over here. Push zero, and now we're just going to push shift, and we're just going to go nuts here. Well, first of all, let's put it in polygon mode and let's just select some random squares like that we ain't gonna draw this process out too long we're just gonna yeah. All right, that'll work. Now, let's go ahead and jump into our camera one, and all our squares are looking like this. Now, let's go ahead and push Shift H, and we're going to link the polygons and snap to grid. Now, our manual offset is going to be minus. It's going to be in the minus category. That's going to bring our polygons upward. Uh, minus five. Let's check that out. It's pretty, that's that'll work. Let's do it. Minus five. Now, um, you see how everything is right here. What we're going to do is we're going to um, merge coplanar faces. And you see that our buildings are like this. Now what we're going to do is just select the tops of our buildings. Everybody knows that's what these are going to be, right? Um, and now let's push H again, or Shift H. Let's do another minus 5. Pow. And now Shift Select, and it doesn't matter if this is still on. Shift Select this and this and go to manual offset and do another minus five. You see how we're doing this? See where we're going with this? Pow, pow, shift select, and another minus five. And pow, pow, and another minus five. We'll go ahead and leave the tall one in the corner. That way, if we ever want to get a view from the top of it, we can kind of do that. Now, we have our, uh, have our buildings. Let's go ahead and select everything. Push 0 so we can get it centered. No, we don't have to do that, really, but it's just nice to have everything centered. Push OK. Oh, crease edges, then OK. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we have... Uh, pretty much a city block. Now, here's where here's where it starts to look like uh, you have a city. Go ahead and throw a replicator in there, and jump into the replicator. We're going to add our vertex object, which is our city. Well, our city block, and everything looks good there. Let's keep it on grid, and the grid cell is going to be. 10 by 10. That might be a little too big. We'll check it out though. Rotation uh, 45 degrees and scale 50. And see what everything did over there? Kind of shifted around, moved into position. And let's go ahead and do replicator. Let's see what we got. Nice. 
I'm going to zoom in on just a cert, just a small part of it. And the shadows aren't going to be, I kind of wanted some long shadows, but. And now you have the start of your own little city. Now this is just going to be the first part of, a, of one tutorial, um, or first part of a, a bigger tutorial than what this is. Um, we're going to add textures to this next. We're going to add textures to these things uh, next time. Anyway, uh, that's it for this time. I'm Cripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later.